Hello and welcome back to the Pure Report on the road. I'm Sam Maricini back at the Gardner IT Infrastructure Operations and Cloud Strategy Conference, joined by Josh Gluck. Josh is the Vice President of Global Healthcare Technology Strategies. Did I get that right? You did, you did. Very good. Awesome. I had, there's so many, it's so long. The conference name, it's all good. So A lot tell of me. Strategy. Strategy, absolutely. Healthcare strategy when it comes to operations and cloud. I mean, how do you tie those two things together? It's been difficult to get you because you're talking to customers all day. So tell me what, what's yeah. going on. Well, we had a lot of customers come through from the healthcare space, and you know, I think the the common theme there is that you know, healthcare organizations have a tendency to accumulate technical debt, makes our operations very difficult. They've wanted to move more towards DevOps, they've wanted to move towards uh, automation and agility. Uh, and then obviously you have you know, the, the public cloud and wanting to be able to take advantage of it. Uh, healthcare organizations have typically had trouble because of regulatory requirements or uh, security uh, and risk uh, and getting uh, business associates agreements signed by uh, public cloud providers or even private cloud providers. So uh, I think we're now in an era where uh, the public cloud is more accessible to healthcare organizations because we've gotten past some of those hurdles. Um, and you know the conversations we're having are uh, with with our customers are, you know, I want to be able to move workloads from on-premise to the public cloud when it makes the most sense. And so you know, conversations around peer as a service. Sure. How, how can we um, leverage a, uh, a a much easier um, way for us to have a workload run on-premises, and then also have the ability for us to expand that up to the public cloud for them when they're ready makes it much easier. It makes absolute sense, and when you put it in that context, it, it, it's almost like the rest of the industry makes the movements, and then because of healthcare mm -hmm. and the regulations, it, it's a little later in the game, which might be good in some yeah. cases, because things are a little more mature, yep. uh, um, and, and so it sounds like they're ready from a lot of context. Yeah, yeah, I know, I think now is the time for organizations to leverage the public cloud, uh, and, and, and be able to take workloads that, you know, sort of were non-traditionally uh, cloud-facing, and, uh, and because of the simplicity that we can offer them from here, uh, because of the, that portability that we give them with our technology, making it really easy, they can focus on, all right, what do I need to do to this application to get it to run in the cloud, if it's right for them as an organization. And it makes absolute sense, and I think that portability is key. Mm -hmm. Because in a lot of cases, it's moving an application to the cloud, and maybe needing to move pieces of it back, or, or being mm -hmm. able to take things vice versa, yeah. becomes very important, especially in a healthcare scenario. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the healthcare ecosystem is so connected, right? You have data that flows from uh, patient telemetry that might happen while they're inside of uh, uh, an inpatient setting, or you know, it could be a Fitbit or, or some wearable that they have at home that their primary care physician wants to monitor some of their data um, so that they have more information to take care of them uh, in the long term. So, you know, I think it's it's um, there's been a drive to just sort of adopt the cloud. And I think organizations now are really thinking through, okay, well the data is all in all of these different places, it has to be joined up with each other. Um, we've got to be smart about what things do move to the cloud, what things are going to stay closer to the edge maybe, um, or you know, have to stay on premises for, for, for now. And the amazing part of that is, uh, t t tying all those things together, the edge is my wrist when it comes to a Fitbit, yeah. and being able to provide that information out, yeah. the, the amount of information continues to grow, mm -hmm. and being able to access it as quickly as possible through multiple application sets, that's really what the modern data experience is all about. Right? Yeah, definitely, and, and even more so is, Organizations have kind of held on to this data for a very long time. They did it as you know, cost of doing business. It was, it was, um, you know, things that they had to do, not not because they were holding on to it. For oftentimes, it's just regulatory compliance, or sure. you know, if, if, if something was going to happen down the road. In this day and age now, technology has come so far that we're able to actually mine that data, run clinical data analytics against it, use algorithms, and, and really find the insight that is in the data that these organizations have just sort of held on to. Um, and you know now it's really about finding the right insight at the right time and at the right point of care, you know, place in, in the continuum of care. Uh, absolutely, there's a mine of data. Yeah. We got to get the abstract the gold from that. And exactly. I mean, it really is interesting because we are at the conference. It's all about operations and cloud strategy, yep. and that all applies to healthcare in some very unique ways. Yep. Uh, and that's really the value of pure storage and what we're doing here, why we're here, mm -hmm. why you've been back to back with customer meetings yep. talking about this stuff yeah. and really enabling them to, to take advantage of the data that they have. Yeah, and the beauty of doing it with us is that we offer you know simplicity, right? 
we take away all of the cumbersome operations that folks used to have to do before in their organizations just to keep the lights on. And we've heard time and again from customers that they're now able to take those resources and actually move them closer to the business, right? Get them engaged with data scientists, get them engaged with um, you know, researchers or clinical caregivers who um, need to better understand what insights can be in the minds of data, the amounts of data that their organization has, instead of just keeping the lights on. You know, those those the the focus for healthcare customers here at this conference is to better understand how to streamline operations to free up resources to do innovation or improve clinical care and patient outcomes. It makes absolute sense. If you're watching at home, thank you. Where's the best place for customers to find more information about this? Uh, definitely at our website. Come take a look, PureStorage.com. I think PureStorage.com slash healthcare might get you a lot of good things. That's true. I thank you guys for listening to the Pure Report on the road. Much more from the Gartner Conference and other conferences. Make sure you're subscribed to that YouTube channel. We'll see you soon. Josh, thank you. Thank you very much.